happy weekend. Kristen and Tyler are distancing. We are at 19 8 mile today, which is just off Highway 11 by about five minutes. And it's in between Barrie and Aurelia, closer to Aurelia off the 14th line. Uh, it's a waterfront, beautiful home, less than six years old. And it's just shy of 3,900 square feet. And that's not counting the base. Uh, a lot of people, when they say their square footage, they count the basement, which is kind of cheating. So this is 3847 square feet, not counting the basement. Uh, there is actually not a basement, but there is a crawl space, and it's, you know, like actually usable and lots of great storage down there and stuff and dry and everything. So it's a beautiful spot. Again, 127 feet of frontage, and we will show you the waterfront. Uh, there's two... Um, docks, one's 40 feet and one's 60 feet, and there's also 70 feet of marine rail, and it's all done with the um, composite decking. There is a double car garage behind us, as you can see, as well as a double um, boathouse. So anyways, I will turn this around, and um, I'll read your things as I walk towards the water. <laughs> around with my fingers here. Okay. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Justin. Hey, hey. Hi, Kennedy. Kennedy is not too far away. Sorry, I, I was kind of bumpy there. So this driveway is massive. It's like the biggest um, lot on the street. Hi, Craig. Hi, Sammy. Hello, Tyler. <laughs> um, so you can't actually see from where I'm standing, but the... the um, driveway obviously goes all the way to the double car garage so you could easily park like 20 cars on this driveway and not have to worry about anything so again this house is less than six years old yes it is nice landscaping melissa said but it's nice because the other side of eight mile point um is so shallow you can't get any boats in there and this one is amazing so at the end of the 40 and 60 it's shoulder height so you can dive in you don't have to worry about like so a beautiful pebble beach hi Dave so again, we're on Lake Simcoe. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because it's kind of windy. So the two docks aren't in yet, um, but like I said, they're 40 feet and 60 feet. And then there's 70 feet of marine rails that goes right into the double boathouse. So it's a nice high boathouse in case you have a big um, boat. And then there's also an extra side for storage. Hi Ryan. Hi Lori. So again, huge 127 feet of frontage at, on 8 Mile Point. And with 8 Mile Point, it has 62 acres of private land for them. So there's trails in it, courts. It's really nice and just exclusive for this community. So we'll obviously go inside, but that room has 29 foot ceilings. Hi Anson. Hi Brenda. Hi Connie. Connie and I both share Taurus birthdays, April babies. Hope you had a fun birthday, Connie. So huge entertainment space, you know, place for the kids to play. You could play some volleyball back here. And again, this is like the biggest lot on 8 Mile Point, 127 feet of frontage. And it's 221 feet deep. Hi, Brenda. So this is in the double boathouse. So there's a nice side door. They obviously use it as a regular garage too. But then, see, so you can fit the boat. And it's nice and high. In the winter, you can store all your other stuff in here as well.
There is power out here. We just don't have the light on. <laughs> but there is a light. <laughs> Hi, Sean. So again, we're at 19 8 mile point and 127 feet of waterfront. Gorgeous house, 3,847 square feet. And that does not count a basement. That's all above grade, so it's beautiful. Tons of landscaping done. Like we said, the house is only six years old, less than six years old, so everything's been done in the last six years. So here's the huge driveway that I was saying. So we'll go in later, but there's actually a, a neat games room above the garage, and it's heated by its own uh, furnace. So obviously, because of the age of the house, all the windows, all the furnace, everything's you know, almost brand new. Tyler is going to get the door, I think, for us. I apologize for two seconds while I take my shoes off. Hi, Dakota. Hi, Nigel. So you come into this grand space, gorgeous hardwood everywhere. Tyler, yes. <laughs> can you open that closet? So the custom doors on this closet I love are amazing. <laughs> you could open it from that side. There we go. Tyler's having side. difficulties. <laughs> So this room, yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they, Melissa? So this is the room that has 29-foot ceilings. So like the craftsmanship in here is amazing. Hi, Allison. This can be your next house. You want to move to Waterfront. Like these windows are amazing. Two-story um, fireplace. Tyler's ready to serve up a drink. Yes, the wet bar. The wet bar, yeah. Um, don't worry, we are sanitizing everything when we leave. So, live edge bar. And then, uh, really neat, like, custom pieces with granite. Obviously, a wet bar. There is a wine fridge. I just love like, cause obviously I've never seen this custom piece, right? Hence the word custom. So amazing look out to the water. And even though like right now we have no lights on in here, um, and it's a cloudy day to be honest, it's still because it's a massive room and 29 foot ceilings is beautiful. The ceilings are beautiful. See, yes, Allison, see you do. So here's your house. This can be your future house, Allison. <laughs> I hope you and Chris are having a good weekend. We're at 19 8 mile point right now, just off the 14th line. Um, closer to Aurelia, but um, still obviously in Oro. Yeah, Tyler always has a smile on his face. Just tons of windows in here. So maybe we'll go to the master bedroom first. So main floor master bedroom, which, you know, um, obviously it's great. There's five bedrooms in this house and three bathrooms. Yeah, there's tons of windows. Beautiful gas fireplace. 
So this is like, um, actually we're not even at the master wing yet because this is a spare bathroom. So it's huge. Now we're going into the master wing. So obviously the floors continue throughout. So they have a huge king size bed in here. And it actually looks like there's, um, you know, a pattern on the wall, but it's actually just from this light. So it's not um, like wallpaper. Hi, Jason. Yeah, it's a beautiful fireplace, isn't it, Melissa? Um, so, sorry. There, This walk-in closet is, I'm sure, to die for for anybody. Yes, California shutters. Thank you for pointing that out. This is huge, huge, huge. And then there's even like just a bonus space just for linens. But literally this is like the bedrooms I had when I was a kid. <laughs> so there's a pocket door on going to that um, walk-in closet. Hi, Tammy. So here's the ensuite. So a standalone tub, which obviously is the most in right now and gorgeous separate shower um the floors are in here are lovely double his and hers vanity with quartz countertops so there are the california shutters that melissa was saying i'm not gonna go right in the shower but see if i can get it through the glass so there's custom inlays Just pretty. They haven't missed any details. Again, we're at 19 8 mile point, which is waterfront, 127 feet of frontage, um, and two docks, a 60 foot and a 40 foot. And then there's a double car garage uh, attached to the house, plus a double boat house. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Barb. So even just like these accent walls, you know, and the wood trims. So we're going to go upstairs. There is two more bedrooms upstairs plus a full bathroom. I hope you're having a lovely weekend, Barb. So even on the side here, there's neat built-ins with pot lights. So this is a nice flex space up here. Hi, Dan. I hope you and Tiana are having a lovely weekend. I will be your innocent neighbor. So I don't know if you watch the shows, um, but tons of the shows now, they always talk about having flex space. So somewhere where it's either like a kid's play area or an extra rec room. So this would be a flex space for them. Somebody could have an office up here, depending obviously on their family type. It's your best friend's house. That's awesome. Small world. Yeah, you said so many parties entertaining, right? It's perfect, perfect spot. I was never invited to any of these parties, so I'm glad that somebody got to enjoy it. So up here, like I said, there is a full bathroom. And it has his and hers vanities. Beautiful floors, full bath. Wouldn't that be amazing to have your office there, Melissa? Tyler is our, I don't know. Standard model. Yeah, your standard model. So there's two huge bedrooms up here. Um, these are, you know, guest bedrooms, but they're massive. Um, probably, you know, as big as the master. Beautiful with the California shutter and entry.
engineered hardwood up here. So all of the trim, you know, is nothing's been, um, you know, missed or done poorly. It's all the same quality throughout. So here is the other spare bedroom. Both of the spare bedrooms have double closets. And of course the California shutters. And both rooms have king size beds, but yet the rooms are still huge. Hi Catherine. We're just showing a waterfront house today um, up closer to Aurelia, just off the 14th line. We're at 19 8 mile point. It's 127 feet of frontage. And this room has 29 foot ceilings. Craziness. Beautiful. I'm going to go down the stairs without falling. Hi, Brittany. Brittany is opening a a store in the mall once COVID is over and it's called Sugar Bear and they do sugaring and it is fantastic and you'll have to check it out. It's where the old, um, they used to do kids hair there. I forget what it was called. But she's incredibly talented as are all her staff. Hi Jenna. We're just showing some waterfront property up off the 14th line. It's 127 feet of frontage and almost um, 3,900 square feet. This is like the nicest laundry room. You know, so pretty. I like because a lot of laundry rooms are quite um, are quite feminine, and this one, you know, a, a guy wouldn't feel like, oh, it's a laundry room. It looks masculine, but not too masculine. You know, it's I just think it's perfect blend. Alicia said melon head. I have no idea what that means, but. <laughs> um, so tons of uh, natural light in this room as well. So another, you know, hangout spot or um, rec area. Again, waterfront views. And then the deck wraps around. Don't you love this place, Carly? It's beautiful. So, gorgeous custom kitchen. Oh, the place in the mall was called that. Yes, that's it. Sorry, thank you, Melonhead. Yeah, so that's where, um, where Sugar Bear is going to be. She uh, did have a spa, and so primarily that's what she did before, but then the sugaring is just so, so busy. She's going to do just as sugaring. So if you guys need anything, check her out. Thank you for clarifying that, Alicia. You're my handy um, person today. <laughs> but just everything's, you know, custom. Nothing's cheap here. No melamine. Obviously all solid. So they're all the soft clothes drawers. And then the gorgeous hardwood, obviously, here. Granite countertops. Yeah, granite countertops. So there's the sink in the island, as well as the sink um, over here. And then there's also two uh, more rooms on this floor. So they could be an office, spare room, or playroom, or whatever, depending, obviously, on your family type. Use this one as an office. It's a cute little bedroom.
So we're going to go um, to the cool hangout above the garage. Um, if anybody has any questions, let us know. Again, it's 3,945 square feet. The um, frontage is 127 feet of frontage. And there's two docks, one 60 feet and one is 40 feet. Plus there is uh, 70 feet of marine rail. And we're at 8 mile point net number 19 in um, Oro, just close to Aurelia, off the 14th line. So it's only 10 minutes to get to shopping. It's perfect. So instead of having, you know, a house and a cottage and having to maintain both, you can just have one and not have all the headache of both. You just have one, it's all done. Um, for inclusions, Melissa, there actually is even a hoist. So besides like regular appliances, like the fridge and stove and washer and dryer and dishwasher, you know, and you get the extra bar fridge and all that kind of stuff, there is even a hoist in the garage um, for people that want to work on their car or put multiple cars in the garage at once. Hi, Amy. Tyler, Carly says, Tyler, yay. <laughs> <laughs> yay for being a model. Yeah. <laughs> And um, there's more storage here. So you have the double at the front door plus here. Okay, so you go so I can get past you. So this hoist thing, so you could bring that car up and then you can park a car under it. So even though it's a double car garage, you could actually park three cars. One, two, and then you can park the other one here. So this garage is uh, fully insulated and heated with its own separate furnace. So there's its own separate furnace. And that's actually how you get to the crawl space. So this goes up to the neat um, play space up above. And we'll see how I get up here with while I'm trying to, you know. So this is fun, like you have teenagers or you're COVID isolating and you're annoyed with who you're living with, you send them up here. <laughs> Hi Chris. It's just a fun hangout, you know? People are playing darts or they're having some beverages. Or maybe somebody that, say, has a home business. This could be, you know, where they have the business up here. Maybe somebody's like a massage therapist or does accounting or needs some kind of separate space, who knows? Maybe they're an artist and they want space up here. Or like I said, just for kids, teenagers, husband, wife, whoever. Just a fun space. Now, going down this might be harder with, because I'm trying to not, trying to make it not so bumpy for you guys. So again, the crawl space is in there. Um, it's fully dry under there and there's a sump pump under there and, and um, hot water heaters and so forth. And then you could park one car here there, and then the hoist, because last time I was here this hoist was up and the car was up and there was a car underneath and that's all included. Can I ship this house to Alberta? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> that would be very expensive to do. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you lived there now. Okay, so we're back inside. So I'll just go around again. If anybody has any questions, just shout. If not, I'll go around again and then we'll sign off unless there's any questions. So this is a powder room, a huge. It's not some dinky little bathroom. Then we go into the master wing of the house, which is completely separate from any bedrooms in the house, which is nice and private getaway for the parents. I did not build this house, no. This is um, client's house just at 19, 8 mile point, but I did not build it. 
I can't even put together Ikea things, let alone build a house. <laughs> so a huge walk-in closet. And we are going to sanitize everything after. I just wanted to show that it's um, a pocket door. And then um, great size. Hi, Lisa. Um, bathroom. I hope you're well, Lisa. I don't know where you live, if you're still in Hamilton or in Base Borden or where you are. Hi, Paula. What clothing are the sellers looking for? Um, they're open depending, you know, um, obviously, I mean, I've seen people say that they wouldn't do a week closing and then somebody offers them a crazy price and they say, okay, we'll do it. So I'm sure it all depends on pricing, but it is obviously a beautiful spot to spend in the summer. That's cool. Six years. Chris has been out there now. It's probably been 15 years since I've seen you, if not longer. No, 15, I think. So gorgeous um, ensuite. Tyler is very social distanced <laughs> away from me, but now I'm coming towards you, so move it. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Ted will also be my new neighbor next month. So again, custom bar, all live edge. Ted, Ted is getting, um, what's that called? A draft. Is it called draft, Tyler? The, um, what's that called? A draft of beer, isn't it? What's that? When you have the pole lever thing. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, Tyler doesn't, Tyler drinks wine, not beer. I don't remember what it's called, Ted, but you could put one here. A, a, keg. a keg. Oh, yeah, a keg with a draft. There, we got it. We don't need you, Ted. We got it. Oh, there, keg tap. We got it before you. <laughs> um, so again, 29 foot ceilings in here. And this house is less than six years old. 127 feet of frontage on Lake Simcoe. It's the biggest lot on the entire point. And there's 62 feet of private acreage that comes with this. Um, and then everybody a part of eight mile point gets to use it. So there's tons of hiking trails and they have um, tennis courts and everything. Melissa's laughing at, I couldn't think of the keg word. Whatever, we got it now. So gorgeous, that's the double boat house. And then there's the two docks, the 60 foot and 40 foot. It's all composite, so it won't rot. Um, and it's shoulder length. Uh, short, shoulder height I should say when you get to the end of the dock that's not how far the dock goes they just haven't put it all in yet um, and there's also like a sea dew lift at the end of it so that'll be beautiful and that's and that will be in next weekend and then again there's two bedrooms upstairs I know my my bartending days we didn't have um, we had bottles of beer we didn't have draft so I can blame it on that. So here's the flex space again that um, somebody was saying would be a great office space. Would be amazing to have your office in the waterfront. Hi Tyler. And then again, there's two bedrooms up here. Great sizes. Both have king size beds with tons of room still. Five piece bathroom. So there's three bathrooms in this house and five bedrooms. There's two living rooms um, plus a flex space. Hi. Nice. It's warm. Toasty? Yes. One of two fireplaces. Yeah. So the Live Edge um, custom bar.
Melissa's asking what shoreline it, or what exposure it gets east or west. I believe it's east. Tyler says east. Hi, Ashley. Hope you're having a good weekend. We're just looking at a waterfront house uh, close to Aurelia, but not quite as far up off the 14th line at 19 8 mile point. Has almost 4,000 square feet and 127 feet of frontage. I actually don't know if I showed this fireplace before, to be honest. I don't think I did. So an extra space for people. It's wavy out there today. It's a little bit windy, but you can imagine this in the summer. Have a coffee out there, or a glass of wine. And then again, there's two extra rooms here for either bedrooms or office space, play areas. I am having a great weekend, thank you. It was my birthday yesterday, I took the day off. I also took Friday off, made a two day birthday. <laughs> Should we go back outside, Tyler? Sure, we can check out the, so the we'll, shoreline in the boathouse again. Yeah, we'll just go back outside, and if anybody has any questions, type them in. If not, we're randomly just saying everything that we think might be applicable. I apologize as I'm trying to get my shoes on without making it too um, bumpy for you guys. Thank you, Ashley. My 23rd birthday. <laughs> as my Pinocchio nose grows right now. Sorry, it's hard to do the shoes with one hand. All right. So this house is less than six years old. So they haven't done any, anything with their landscaping, with their massive driveway. The biggest property on 8 Mile Point. This house is listed for 2.398. So you can see they have a trailer and it doesn't take up any space. You could have, you could probably have 14 trailers. I was just counting. So curb appeals, lovely. Hi, Nick. We're just showing a waterfront house off the 14th line at 19, 8 mile point in Oro. So here's a double boat house on the one side so if you have a high boat hi Laura hope you and Steve are having a great weekend Melissa asked where the um, water was so it's actually right underneath there it's a uh, drilled well thank you for asking so I like that it's flat and usable right so many waterfronts don't have usable property A little bit chilly today, but it is still April. That's okay. It'd be gorgeous in you know June, July, August, September, and it's nice on uh, eight mile point on this side because you actually get deep water, so you can actually get boats in. Because the other side you can't get boats in. A nice pebble beach for the kids comes with a 60 foot and 40 foot. Uh, Trevor, all with composite decking so it won't rot. Plus it has 70 feet of marine rail and the marine rail goes right into the boathouse which is double uh, height or double wide I should say, extra high. So that is pretty much this house. Tyler do you want to say anything else? Hi, Phil. Up here and enjoy it before uh, the summer gets here. You can enjoy it with going out on boat rides with the family or hanging out on the lawn or just hanging out on the back deck. Well, 
Melissa ask how far is from Barrie and Aurelia? It's um, 20 minutes from Barrie and 10 minutes from Aurelia. So 10 minutes of shopping. Hi, hi Anna. Hi Margie. So we are, um, I think, finishing up in front of 198 Mile Point. So waterfront, you want to buy it. You can. Uh, I'll schedule a showing with you later. Um, eight mile, 1918, 1918, 198 Mile Point in Aurelia. Sorry, it's windy. It's affecting my brain. So, um, and again, beautiful waterfront. 127 feet of frontage. Hope you guys are having a fantastic and safe weekend. Till next time, have a great.